this is one of the statements that I live my life by and this is when it comes to when it comes to dating and when it comes to identifying whether a woman is 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 attracted to me. Yeah. You cannot negotiate genuine desire. And welcome back to the Spaghetti Junction podcast. My name is Bruce. Welcome back. Oh, yeah, my name is Gareth. <laughs> we talk about things. I just don't know where they're going to go. <laughs> but they went. <laughs> they did. They went, longer. Very, they went very deep and a lot longer than we, well, we did anticipate that it was going to be longer. Correct. <laughs> so where are we now? We are on part two of our very interesting deep dive into the Me Too movement and ramifications of uh, allegations. And more. And more. So thank you for listening to the first half. And here comes the second. Enjoy. Here we go. It was a really good, I mean, yes, I knew it. Yes, she knew it. But I brought it back to her and said, you know what? This is for your choice, obviously. I just, you know, said, but this is a crime. So these are the steps which you can take, you know, meet with the guy, blah, blah, blah. When I said to her, you know, that I'm, I'm, I don't want to, you know, you know, I'm not going to make the first move. She needs to. And yeah. I was just explaining to her why some of her needs were, they wouldn't happen. So, so, so for example, you know, she, 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 she wanted, you know, this guy, Jeff, not his name, you know, to, um, yeah, to, um, to, sorry, to, to bring it into the group. Say, so guys, you know what? I did this, this happened. And my clean time or blah, 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 blah. It's actually not what it is because yeah. I did this. Yeah. And she could see that it probably wasn't going to go that route. So she said, you know what? After a, you know, a lot of thinking and you know, advice from, from family members, you know, from her partner, you know, linked with that, she said, no, she's actually going to make a, make a formal arrest. I mean, a formal charge right. laid against this person. Okay. And it's quite big. Bec a big in the sense where um, whether this person involved is pretty, m he's he's a well-known person basically. I mean, not, you know, not famous, you know, but with 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 in the groups and stuff, you know, he is well-known basically. Yes. Okay. So if something does come out of it, um, it's just going to make you rethink. And and it was a point you made. It's going to make you think. Okay, if I'm going to a group where other people understand what I'm going through and I'm feeling safe. Yes. But in a safe space, somebody yeah. got sexually assaulted. Yeah. It's just gonna throw the whole It's gonna it's gonna it's it's oh. gonna bring it's gonna bring the credibility into It's disrepute. huge, yeah, yeah. No, it's 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 a very big thing. Yeah. It's a very big thing. So um Yeah. Um, I have a, I, and then it's, um, it brings us to a question that I have, and it's actually something that we, that we've talked, that we talked about planning this podcast, yeah. but we haven't, we haven't asked the question now. Mm -hmm. What was, what were some of her reasons for waiting so long before actually coming, um, and actually bringing these allegations? Cause you said this happened in 2017. That's, that's, that is correct. So what were because this is this is something this is the other question that we have with when we hear about a lot of these a lot of these allegations when especially when you're talking about some of the more famous people that have happened Harvey Weinstein Bill Cosby yeah, yeah. all of that and one of the questions people are always asking is why, why did they take so long you know why didn't I mean this is why yeah it's a very big story yes yes um, um, I was actually told to watch which I haven't done yet. But um, as you know, you know, as to like an answer to that question, one of the things was to watch. It's an old documentary, but very powerful one. Well, from what I understand from some people who watched it, is I think it's called "Leaving Neverland," and that's and and that's this the story. Of, I think it's "Leaving Neverland." Yes. Uh, but I know it's. Something I also I, I know you mentioned it to me too, and I also I didn't I didn't get to it. No, no, um, it's not on. It's not on Netflix, eh? No, no, it's not. Okay. Um. No, it's not. Um, it's 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 
it's on, on one of the you know other channels. I mean that is basically where where I'm too meant to tell their 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 story um of of the the, the um childhood sexual abuse uh, against the I mean I mean de- dealing with the allegations against Michael Jackson. It was Finding Neverland. Nope, I've got it. It's Leaving Neverland. Is it Leaving Neverland? I thought it was Finding Neverland. Finding Maybe. Neverland is a is movie. Is that a movie <laughs> about Peter Pan? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I actually thought it was that name actually too. Okay, cool. Until, until I researched it properly. Oh, great. I don't feel so bad now. Nope, you're fine. <laughs> okay. Okay, so it was Leaving Neverland. All right. No. Well, either way, they did leave. Okay, so um, it, th- that was a question, you know, w- 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 which I did ask as well. You know, you know, it's um, you know, of the pe- pe- people who are helping me, work, you know, to, to to actually work through this. It's like, well, well, what do I do now because of these allegations, you know, against this guy Jeff? Yeah, not his real name. Um, and yeah, I well, one of my questions was exactly that, like, like. Why is it being brought up two, three, four years later? Yeah, exactly. With this, with and this, that, and that has happened to multitudes. Yeah, I um, mean, e- even they were even asking about this this girl who made the allegations of, to Jake Paul, and that was a few years. That would that happened two years ago. Yeah, exactly. Why so the question is, yeah. okay, so they could be like her. Yeah, which is those yeah. reasoning. Yes, but a lot of the reasons why. So, for example, the um, um, there, 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 there's a few. Few um a few high high profile cases like the like, like the one with with um Weinstein the one yes. with um Bill Bill Cosby as well yeah um a lot of the the women came forward from like years later and it normally takes one woman you know, for example Ashley Judd yeah it takes one and then it goes, takes okay, one cool, and, and then, then people feel safe now because yes. because a lot of the time there's shame there's guilt. Um, there's um, um, a lot of people. Um, they like look, they want to avoid anything being brought up, you know. You know, um, because of what happened to them, they they need to relive it, you know, and go through it all okay, over I get again. You, I get you. Um, the for example, you know, uh, with the Weinstein, for example, he was such a big name. A big known name and many would think well even if i say something happened this is harvey weinstein you know this yeah. is a big name you know a big big name kind of thing yeah, he holds a lot of people's careers in his hands and that's exactly they were, what they were probably nervous about what could happen to their career yeah and they wanted to be an actress and you know maybe you know they got involved and harvey did stuff to them but then you know, in return for their silence, he or like, it. well, let's get you into this movie, or exactly. So, so one of the other, yeah, yeah. So, so, so very much the um, yeah, the initial responses of these, of survive, the survivors. Sorry, maybe to avoid, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, um, I mentioned now, you know, that they don't want to relive and rego. Yeah. So, for example, this this lady you know uh, um with you know uh, w- and with the allegations of this guy jeff not his name um sh- one of the reasons was is is that to relive everything again you know um she sh- she had emails and stuff you know you know which which were back and forth and she actually got to a point that she wiped them out because just knowing that they were there just was, sort of kept reminding. was emotionally problem yeah. another reason was that that um that um when it happened she brought it to one of the you know leaders or you know chair people of that group yeah and said this is what's happened by this person to me right that person basically swept it under the cover said you know what we all of you know we all of these problems you know, and it's better that we don't bring it up to the group because it'll just, it'll, it'll just, um, it's, I can't remember the wording because, you know, um, it's on my phone, but pretty much saying um, that it's not a good idea to bring this into group. Jeepers. And there's also a reason why, why people take so long, which is what she told me, you know, when we first spoke. Yeah. She said to me that it's, it's just a big thing to be 
understood and to be um and to, what's it and to be seen if that makes sense you know where where she phones me you know and i don't say no no sorry where, where, where she phones me and i say you know what that was years ago and this guy it can't be true and leave it alone yeah and just i gave her that that allowance to say this happened you know yeah you know? and for me not to judge and break it down because her she was almost expecting me to be like that last guy right so you, you know what it's not his fault blah 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 and let's just rather leave it where it is you know because of the the ramifications or whatever kind of thing so that's also a reason why people take so long you know is that they have actually searched out and they've asked for help you know in the sense where the they have said this happened yeah and when you reach somebody you know reasonably like high up and they give you that thing like, ah you know what say you know you know these things happen and you know it was a mistake let's just leave it there let's just keep it quiet, your response yeah. from there is like okay you know what I'm done with this place. I don't want to see him. I don't want to talk about these groups. Yeah. I'm out. Because no one's going to help me. And then it comes up later. Yeah. Because it, these things will come up. Eventually. One ev year. Eventually, it's years, just going to be too much. Your citizen goes, you know what? I, I just can't do this. Anymore. Yeah. And, you and hence their phone. Or they, you know. Um, um, another thing is um, um, is that they believe, uh, it's, yeah, a fear is basically whether they will be believed or s supported right you know so when they bring up that stuff so you know yeah um yeah other stuff like they may fear being accused of lying which is going back to our whole topic right now that yeah. she's lying you know that that she is um um exaggerating the facts which is what when she spoke to that one person she said no you know it's, it's an exaggeration of what's happening kind of thing and they also believe, you know, that they will face, face I'm hostile, you know, you know or, or um, susceptible questions about their behaving, basically. So it's all fears. What if I bring this up? And there's so many factors yeah. that they're so scared of doing that it's like, maybe it's just easier just to not talk about it because I'm going to get dragged through the coals. I'm going to get friggin' looked at, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, and unfortunately, with this woman, again, you know, as an example, you know, of 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 uh, Jake Paul, now people in Los, you know, are wondering, well, is she actually telling the truth? And they will grill that person, yeah, just to know, just to, and that's that's part of the problem. In yeah, fact, that's yeah. a huge problem. Is why it doesn't come through. Yeah, they don't want to be under all that scrutiny. No, and, and then you're getting, you, you know, your 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 name is there yeah so now now i'm not just you know gareth i'm now gareth that i've accused somebody of sexually assaulting me so my yeah. name and sexual assault is linked yeah wherever it whether, goes whether you were the perpetrator or the victim it's 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 linked it's yeah. linked to your name yeah so that's why i feel also it's a big thing why people don't bring it up and then um there's this 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 um, thing called the freeze response or the fullness the freeze freeze response or the um the fawn response and it's a, a, a actually um a f um a physiological reaction basically right i'll explain to you well what, what they are so um it is common for for a victim to experience a freeze response where the, where they become immobilized when su subjected to sexual violence so when it's happening they you know, someone might say, well, did, did, did you say stop? Did you say no? And most cases they, they do. But at times they just, they freeze. Yeah. Because it's just, they can't take in what's happening. Like, why is he groping my breasts? But it's just so much. Yeah. So yeah. there's the physiological thing where you freeze. Mm. Now with her, you know, she, she, I think, I, I, th I think she's, she's you know that's that's when she spoke to him you know you know like a bit you know after and the emails and stuff but so i'm not just you using her you know it's just an example yeah and then they um and then there's there's the um 
the other common reaction is the fawn response, which involves placating the, the um, attacker to avoid escalating the situation. And they are the body's attempts to protect itself from further injury. So it's an actual, it's a, like I was saying, it's a physiological thing. Sure, that's crazy. That actually happens in your system. Yeah. So it's, it's way bigger than, so why don't you come after four years? Well, hopefully there's enough stuff for you to maybe help your thinking process. Okay. And people listening. No, yeah, that's, some, that's some good insight. And I've talked way too much. <laughs> I have. But I just, you know, from from the, uh, you know, from the, recent case going on that's just yeah. where i've got all this stuff going on no it's interesting so it's, it's all pretty fresh in my brain no it's cool it's good i mean you i think you've got a, you've got a lot more insight into that whole thing because yeah than me so <laughs> it's good <laughs> um you're going to talk about i think if in, in, in i mean about a bunch of stuff but the questioning was well what happened just for you know you know like the normal guy on the street you know, yeah. the, the normal girl in the street, okay? So it's not anybody famous or whatever. And we were talking, in fact, you were talking about um, just, you know, just a normal healthy date. Yes. And you were talking about like, you know, allegations, <laughs> not n not allegations. Where did you go with that? Basically, because, um, be, be, so the, the, whole, the other thing that's definitely sort of surrounded the whole Me Too thing yeah. is this whole culture of consent yes where uh, you know this whole like okay was it consensual was it not kind of thing and um that's an interesting one because you get for sure you, you get people who are now advocating the whole you know you know asking for consent for every step of the way you know throughout the date yeah which is obviously one of the most unattractive things yeah you can't <laughs> go far you know it's it's like can i hold your hand can I, you know, can can I do this? Sure. Can I do that? Sure. And I gotta, I gotta be honest. Um. Uh. Yeah. It's it, that 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 your date will not end well <laughs> if if you're a guy consider const constantly asking these questions. Um. So that that that's the, that kind of thing. Yeah. For me. Yeah. If you you think about being out on a date, say you're on the first date, you know, with a the girl that you've I don't know met on a dating app or whatever like yeah. that kind of thing. And, um, the consent, the whole consent thing, I think has been, it's been put in place. I think for specifically for a lot of guys who don't understand how to read women's sub sub communications. Okay. When you are out on a date, and if you're if you're a guy who understands those sub communications, <coughs> you can tell if a girl is attracted correct. and if she's not yes correct and it's it's so important for guys to actually know this because um you know look you know, guys let's just be honest okay we're horn dogs we really are <laughs> okay um and there are ways that you can tell whether you can you know, it maybe escalate a little bit more physically with a girl when you're sitting there having a drink with her. Yeah. Um, you know, how is she responding to your questions? Is there, is there, are you using confident eye contact with her? Yeah. How are you doing just with your banter and your flirtation? <coughs> you know, are you creating that, are you creating that atmosphere of attraction? Yeah. Okay. And you know, there's got to be some attraction from her side. Well, obviously. From the word go. Th and that's how, exactly that's and yeah. then and then it's like um but y y the whole thing of i mean and you know girls have also said this as well i mean yeah they want a guy girls w want a guy to sort of to take charge sure you know and to you know if and if they're attracted to him and are aroused <coughs> if if the guy if she wants him to kiss her she'll be okay with it if he just makes his move and this can be on the first date yeah, but if it's the, if it's the right circumstances, exactly. If, if things have led up correctly that way, and it feels because, like it, yes, because yes, there's a way of doing things that are that that are that there's a good way of doing things, yeah, and then there's terrible ways of doing things, 100%. <laughs> you know, and um, it's 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 very subtle because women, 
women live between the lines <laughs> women and men communicate differently yeah and uh, women are not ever going to commu- communicate like men <laughs> and vice versa we we men we need to learn how we need to learn those sub communications well of women good. because if well we done. can't read them it, it's just not going to happen and then no. we wonder oh what happened you know, well third dude she <laughs> she was she was saying a whole lot of stuff but she wasn't using her words <laughs> yeah sure <laughs> you know yeah I mean, you, have, you and I have both been in situations where we've been with girls where maybe maybe stuff has, has gone well and maybe stuff has not hasn't gone. Exactly. Uh, or, it's, or it's sort of been a date that hasn't gone anywhere. Okay. You know? And, I mean, I'm sorry, but so I, now, I haven't been sitting there asking a girl, all right, may I, may I let my leg slightly touch yours? <laughs> okay, so now where are we going with this? Though? I agree with you. Mm. Um, so, yes, there has to always be consent. Yeah, obviously, because mm. that's the safest way of doing things. Because if yes. we do anything else, and she hasn't said yes or no, well, that's obviously mm. the problem. But now, how are you tying? In? So, I think I'm. I know where you're going mm. with this whole. How, how's that the Me Too thing, or these, or allegation, non-allegation? How does that equate into the dating scene slash? I think, or not even the dating scenes. Mm, I think. I think just the one night stands or something like I, that. I think maybe, and this is where I think maybe some guys. Where, where I think all guys. Sorry, some guys. I think all guys need to be careful of this. When yeah, where maybe something was consensual, and then maybe it's it's something that maybe where the the girl wanted it to go more into something of a relationship, but the guy was thinking, no, it was just a one time only thing. Yeah. And then she will, she will go back on the fact that she said it was consensual and say no, it was, it wasn't. And then he's in trouble, kind of thing. Um, that's one view, yeah. That's yeah, that's one way of that. That's one one, one way, way where it could go. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. But then the flip, obviously, the the um, counterpart to that mm. is, is if, and I think where you're going. Uh, sorry, and I and I agree with you. Every guy must know this. And some guys, they just blame the girl for it because, well, you know, we kissed, cool. And then it got, you know, you know, a little bit hot and close to coming off or, you know, almost coming off. And then she hits the brakes. And then she said, whoa, yeah. brakes. Mm. Um, guys who've gone further with that, and obviously that does turn into an allegation, Yeah. will say, and I've read it actually in a few, you know, articles and, you know, and guys who actually were arrested from it, has said, that well, you know, yeah, I am paraphrasing on this. Yeah, but basically, because you got it to a point where you were making it clear that we were having sex, and now you don't want it, and I'm all hot and hard. Mm. Well, you said that we could, and the fact that that you're now stopping it, yeah, is, no, that doesn't no. that doesn't tie with me because you said in yeah. all the actions, and we're actually almost like we're freaking half naked. Yeah, and you said up to this point. You're going to be getting something, and we're yeah. going to have sex, and all of a sudden now you want to just jam your brakes on. Yeah, and that's where guys can. That's where that's where things can. Very, that's where and sexual that, assault can happen, and that is very very and 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 a lot of women do this, and they don't realize how dangerous that is because it's like, you know, you watch her behavior. Okay, if she's half undressed, and she's like, you know, things are things are going there, but then but she then can she's still and believe it or not, I've had that happen. Yeah, I've had that a couple of times where it's like. Feel around and you know, clothes are coming off and all that kind of thing. And she's like, you know what, actually no. I'm not in um the best the best thing is to just go, okay, cool, cheers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. But at at least you've done that reaction then no reaction. Exactly. Or the other reaction, like I deserve yeah. to have sex because you brought me on. You're a freaking cheap yeah. lying, blah 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 blah. Well no no. The word that's used a lot, mm. you're being such a tease. Yeah, and girls and <coughs> and girls do this. Girl, yeah, what? Girl, girl, the 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 tease thing and whatever, and then they'll. No, well, the viewpoint is that they are teasing, but actually, I don't think intentionally a girl goes, "Well, I'm going to tease him until he's so hard and heavy, and then I'll yeah. just stop." Yeah. I don't think many women will ever do that. Yeah. So the boy, the guy's view is that she's being a tease. The girl is like, "It was really, really awesome," but all of a sudden, I don't feel comfortable. Yeah. Even if you're at that heated level. Yeah. And you'll agree with me here. Yeah. No is no. No, 
I mean, a girl, a girl, no woman, no woman is obligated to give you sex. No. Even at that point where you're like, your yeah. freaking engine's running. Okay. But then, but then also, if 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 nothing happens, and the man removes his attention, <laughs> she mustn't get upset either. No, but she won't. Yeah. Because yeah, she she so won't because she's very clear. Yeah. So maybe you've you've met some woman like that, you know, who are like yeah, who some guys are doing go, it for, like for the attention, sure. Yeah. But I would imagine the high percentage, most women, yeah, aren't just doing that to be the teasers yeah. and then oh, but just no. Yeah. And that's and that's the thing. If if that if that happens, and like I said, I've had that happen to me before. Yeah. And it's like, she's she's put the brakes on. Like yeah. her behavior up to that point has been completely different. Yeah. And then I think it, and it's like you know, you know everything's going right. Yeah. And then it's like, okay, cheers. But well done for doing that because some See, guys would because, be like, yeah, because this is this is the statement well that done. I this well is done. this is the this is one of the statements that I live my life by, and this is when it comes to when it comes to dating and when it comes to identifying whether a woman is 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 attracted to me. Yeah. You cannot negotiate genuine desire mm -hmm. once once because um if 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 a woman implies at any point yeah. that she's starting to try to make rules i'm gone because then it's becoming a negotiation gotcha you cannot negotiate if a girl wants you this is one of the guys that i listen to he says a girl will crawl across broken glass fly across the country or change her religion if she desires you that much, and I would imagine vice vice versa. <laughs> I wouldn't change. Okay, I won't go that direction. Girl. But but this is the thing. No, I won't change my religion. Obviously, yeah. if I really like someone, like really, 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 I'll make a plan. I won't. I'm not gonna change my religion. Obviously, I think his point is saying that that they will make a plan. Yeah, because I want to be with you. And I've had that. I I've 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 experienced the that genuine unmitigated desire. And I've also experienced girls trying to go to making rules for me, and as soon as I understand that she's that she's going, mm, no, let's let's get him out on another date or make rules like no, not quite yet or whatever. I'm like, you know what? <laughs> yeah, because we are in in the difference, which I'm sure everyone will know by however many freaking episodes far <laughs> that we are not on the same the same. Um, I wouldn't even dating use, dating wouldn't even, paths. Yes, should we say? We, yeah, that's a nice <laughs> way. I use the word dating in what I know that that's when you hear that we, word, we, it's we, like we, nope. we, we date for different reasons, basically. <laughs> yes, exactly, <laughs> and I'm okay with that. We agree to. You're cool. Well, I'm cool. Whatever. Yeah, I mean, we don't. Yeah, I have we, no issues. Yeah, we just have our own ways of doing it. Exactly. <laughs> so, and that's and that and that's what I've that's what I've learned. Um, Obviously, uh, uh, you know that I've, you know, I'm very interested in this whole, this whole thing, dynamic between men and women. And For women. sure. And so this is, that's what I've learned is that as, as soon as I pick up that the, the, the interaction yeah. is starting to become a negotiation, I'm done. Because then I understand, I'm understanding that I'm not, I'm not a high, I'm not a For priority. Sure. Absolutely. And it's like, who wants that? And that's okay. Cheers. Yeah. Who wants that? And you understand that. And then you're like cool and yeah but now it. just to bring it clear there there mm. might be some healthy rules you know as in saying like on the first day i'm not gonna have sex with you or that, you know some like some ground level for example yeah so maybe that's healthy but yeah from what i'm saying to you from what i'm understanding there's a lot more rules that are like whoa and and yeah i do agree with you there's like if i really like someone and you know you know and we talk through things that's but but yes exactly if she says well you need to be like this you must wear that, you must wear that, and yeah. I'm sorry, I, I, I don't, because I I really like that view. I'm not in a negotiation. Yeah, finding someone which you like should not be a negotiation. No. And it th should be an agreement with each other. And this is where, this is where, um, this is why I'm in, I'm in wholehearted agreement yeah. of um, the three dates, the three dates rule. Yeah. Where it's like, if no, inter if no, <coughs> proper all the way intimacy has happened by the third date cheers what do you mean by proper intimacy sex sex okay Full and that's sex. kind of where we where we differ yes which is because, fine which yeah, is fine because because i'm not looking ultimately i think when i meet someone i'm not looking ultimately for sex 
yes, you know, it'll be there. But I'm think I'm. <laughs> this is a funny. Just say it. Just say it. You know you want to say it. Just say it. <laughs> so I'm looking for the heart, and you're looking for the hands. You know, it's and more besides, way more than hand. No, no, I'm not saying like yeah. it's a. It's bad or good. This mm. is where you are, and this is where yes. I am. Yeah. So I think I'm looking more for, for an emotional thing, and you're looking for not. Yeah, you do have you, an emotional factor, but that's not the driving force. Yeah, correct. Look, there are there 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 have definitely been a few women where I and uh, where I've known that the mutually the emotion the emotional connection. Yeah. Even though it's maybe been a, so a quote unquote fling. Yeah, yeah. The emotional connection from both our sides has been very mm. very intense, and I don't I don't dispute that at all. Yeah, you yeah. Know, it was amazing. Don't get mm. me wrong. Kind of regret. Yes, I, I remember. Regret yeah, ending yeah, things, especially yeah. there was one. That's right. There was one. Anyways, is that one? <laughs> Always with every guy. The one I think. that got away. <laughs> That's why I'm so emotionally unavailable right now. Yes, to blame her. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who hurt you? <laughs> it's actually good, good, good for you to bring that up because in our, in our previous episode, one of them, I also was like, you brought up all my feelings about my first girlfriend. So. It's payback. Yeah, and I just and uh, you know and with when it comes to when it comes <coughs> to just like that first date thing, like I have, I have very I have way little ways mm. of of testing the waters, and I do that I do that every time. It's it's down to it's down to how we sit at the table, you know. It's just it, all these little things that I've learned and <laughs> wow yeah and it's all it's okay. all reading it's all <coughs> and it's all reading subcommunication it's reading body language it's reading eye contact it's reading the the just the banter between us all of that kind of thing and mm. you can and you can tell very quickly good on your boy yeah that's it's it's that subcommunication I, and i had to learn that because I, for a long time i didn't understand that it took a long time it takes a long time for guys to actually understand and that. i wonder if that's also well not i wonder it sounds like it would be hugely beneficial for guys to learn that kind of thing so they don't end up doing stupid shit and end and end up in assault cases. Yeah, it's basically being it's it's being it's being socially socially just you know socially aware. Yes. And also understanding how women communicate their attraction or their unattraction to you. And I think the bottom line with everything as we wrap up is that um, I think the one of the ways that should be used is respect. A, a respect for. As in, like, yeah. you respect where she's coming from, you know, what you can now feel and see, what she, you know, um, not not expects, but, you know, like, where she stands and she'll expect respect for you. If there is no mutual respect, yeah, then I would say pack your bags and leave. I always like this, this one. Finish this up, Bruce. There's one part. There's, one, there's, there's a big difference between a girl going, no, stop it, and no, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't and that stuff with dodgy <laughs> notes. <laughs> I mean, she's got a smile on her face. And yeah, okay. Like, that was <laughs> a joke at the end, people. <laughs> so don't take that personally or believe it. Please, uh, please uh, um, write your hate in the, in the comments. Yeah. For right. me, not for Gareth. <laughs> Gareth, is, <laughs> yeah, no, Gareth, Gareth's the decent one. I'm trying to be nice. He might swear a lot. Um, <laughs> yeah, but I'm a nice person in he's general. The, he's, the, he's the nice one. You're not a bad person, though. I try not to be. Do you like to be the bad guy though with girls? So. Bad boy. Yeah, exactly. What? Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> I, just, I just learned how much fun it is. <laughs> be the bad boy. This is why we do it. We're you know we're friends and we talk about stuff and you're here. And we really don't know as where our loyal listeners. Go. <laughs> no, so thank you for being part of our listenership. Guys, this has been the Spaghetti Junction podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in. And and thank listening. you for tuning into two episodes. Yes, because um, this will be. Well, no, it will be. What is? It, it has been because oh. now people are listening to the second part of the episode <laughs> just messed that one up didn't you I did, sorry so pretty much people <laughs> <laughs> it's okay this has been thank you for listening to both episodes unless you listen to the second first that's just weird <laughs> so thank you for going through two episodes and we'll see you in the next one have a good one it should be a lot lighter yes it will but thank you for listening to us and please form your own opinions don't take ours for um, base truth yeah but this is how we are and this is what what we feel this is what makes us good that's it like comment subscribe share do all those YouTube things please do them see you guys in the next one goodbye bye